Hello guys. So the last express entry draw number 125th had the CRS cutoff score rose to 463. A cutoff score so high that it would be very difficult for people to touch was sitting down at 440s or 450s even. So this left many people worried. People are worried if the CRS cutoff score will now come down to 450s or 440s or even lower. So in this video, I'll give you a logical prediction of the CRS score. No, I won't tell you any figures as such that it would come down to 450, 455, 440, but I'll give you a calculation through which you'll get an idea. Will it actually come down or will it go up or will it be something around 460s in the coming future? So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. And I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. To explain that, let me show you the calendar of 2019. What's new in it is the upcoming draws dates. So let's assume that uh, the upcoming draws are going to happen every Wednesday. However, you know they may happen any other day, but the general trend is that uh, the draws will happen every alternate Wednesday. So the last draw happened on 4th of September. So let's assume that the uh, next draw will happen on 18th of September, two weeks after that on 2nd of October, then 16th of October, then 30th of October. So there'll be three draws in that sense in October. Then on November, there will be two more draws on uh, the 13th and the 27th. And then in December, there'll be two draws on 11th and 25th. Now 25th being Christmas, there would certainly won't be any draw on that day. So they might actually schedule that uh, 25th draw to 23rd or maybe later that week. Okay, having said that, why did I show you all of this? So that you can calculate the number of draws left. So overall we can see that there will be 8 draws roughly. 99% there will be 8 more draws. There can be a chance that... Uh, you know, one more draw is conducted or uh, one less draw is conducted, but most probably there would be eight draws, eight more draws in 2019, which would be conducted. Okay, so please remember that because we are going to use this logic later in the video. Now, here you see this uh, chart. This is a beautiful chart and explanation. I've taken it from uh, cicnews.com. So here you'll see that the declared target for 2019 is 81,400. Now, please notice that for 2018, the target was 74,900. However, they did issue around 15,000 more ITAs last year and the similar case, it was in 2017 as well, when the target was 71,400 and they issued something like uh, 86,000 ITAs. So in the last two years, they've issued approximately 15,000 more ITAs than the target. Okay, now let's say that uh, they don't issue 15,000 uh, more ITAs and of course their hope will be that they'll increase it every year. Okay, even if they don't increase the number of invitations uh, more than 89,000, but still I think that they would definitely try to hit that target of last year when they actually invited around 90,000 people to submit the application of PR. So we can say here that the declared target for 2019 is 81,400 and the undeclared target is uh, 89,800. Let's assume that uh, you know this would be their undeclared target, not more than that. If they issue more than 89,800, that's even a better news for you guys. So the ITA issued this year so far the total number is 59,800. Okay, now let's go for the calculations. Now, number of ITAs for eight draws in that case would be simply 89,800 minus 59,800, which means 30,000. So number of uh, ITAs per draw would be 37,050. Okay, now notice the trend which is currently going on. They're issuing number of ITAs per draw these days 3600 and if they continue that trend then they would be issuing 28800 ITAs 
till the end of 2019, which would actually be 1200 shorter than the number of ideas issued in 2018. So of course this is a good news for you. How this is a good news for you? If they want to hit this target of 89,800 or let's say 90,000, then in that case they should either increase the number of invitations per draw or they should conduct an extra draw somehow squeeze that draw in this uh, next upcoming three and a half months and both cases the CRS cutoff score would drop would certainly drop if they increase the number of invitations then the CRS cutoff score will drop and if they actually squeeze in one more draw then even the CRS cutoff score would definitely drop now you may say that why would they do that and uh, 3600 is a really good number will they actually increase it so obviously i can't assure you that they'll do that but there are many chances that they can do that because they did a similar thing in 2018 so this is again a graphical representation of the uh, of the number of invitations issued in 2018 i've taken it again from a cicnews.com so you can see the spike was there in the month of september so so starting 5th of september they started issuing 3900 ITS apart from the September 19 draw where they issued 3500. Apart from that uh, starting September to December they continued issuing 3900 ITS every two weeks. So there's a good chance that uh, this, would, this would happen again and if they increase the number of draws to 3900 then they would definitely cross the last year last year's undeclared target of uh, 89,800. So guys, be hopeful. There is a good chance that the CRS cutoff score would drop in the upcoming months. I cannot say that it would come down to the 440s or not, to 430s or not, but yes, it would definitely come down. Not to the 430s maybe, but definitely it is a slight chance that it would come down to 440s but yes 450s people you should be pretty happy after this video because CRS cutoff score would definitely come down to 450s before the end of this year. So thank you guys for watching this video this was it this was the message that I wanted to convey through this video. I hope that you like the video like the analysis if you agree with it then I click the thumbs up button if not then click the thumbs down button and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.